do you read the the trades often? Not often. No. Y- well, I mean, you, sh- you should. It's it's there's so much going on in the major film industries, the major entertainment industries. I think anyone who's you know working, who is thinking of becoming an actor, a singer, director, whatever, should really um, familiarize themselves with the various trade publications that are out there. You know, so you can understand what's going on, what's that, what's trending, all of that stuff. You mm. know. Um, I actually enjoy reading it a lot to see movie stats and all that. To see exactly what the audience is looking for. And uh, to give me an idea when I'm writing stuff. Because I, I also write as a pro- like a producer. Maybe maybe that... I don't know if that's sacrilegious. N- no, I, I I think once you produce, yeah. after that you do everything yeah, like a producer. Dude, I write like a producer. Which, again, I, I don't know if, if, if that's like an, a, a bad thing to say, but I, that's how I do it, you know? It's not a bad thing to say. Yeah. It, it's, you just have to find the balance yeah. between limiting your creativity yes. and thinking like a producer. That's right. Now, this is one thing that's happened within recent times, and it's centered around a current event, which has happens to be the the inauguration of President Donald Trump. And with his inaugural ball or the inauguration concert or something like that. Or it's disaster. Un- well, okay, you, cho- you could choose to look at it like that. I personally don't choose to look at it like that. Spike Lee, mm-hmm. the director Spike Lee, he, he did something recently that I just... I mean, it's his choice to do it or whatever, but it's like I, I just it just disap- it's just disappointing. What was it? Well, um, I think he has this new Netflix show, Netflix show that he's putting out, um, called "She's Gotta Have It." I think it's derived from one of his his his, or, his original movies, "She's Gotta Have It." Okay. Um, on the soundtrack, he was going to put an R and B singer. Um, you you know her, Chrisette Michelle. Chrisette Michelle, oh, oh. right? Mm-hmm. But this R&B singer happened to be invited to right. sing at the inauguration. And he put out this Instagram post where, you know, he basically said that he is not going to bring her on board the for the soundtrack because of this reason. Mm. <sighs> All right. Before I say what I want to say, so that's the news. I mean, mm-hmm. what, what are your thoughts on that? Uh... I think it it stems from a a poor way of dealing with difference of opinion. Yeah. I think it's Chrisette Michelle Chrisette Michelle's business mm-hmm. to decide whether whether performing for Trump yeah. is selling out in some way and whether she wants to do it or not. And it's not your right to make her pay for that. Of ho- however, in this situation, it is Spike Lee's right to choose whether he wants Chriselle Mich- Chrisette Michelle on his soundtrack. Mm-hmm. However, when you put out there mm-hmm. that she's not on my soundtrack mm-hmm. because she chose to accept a paycheck from this person whose yes. opinions I disagree with, yes, essentially, that petties you. That lowers you. Right. You could have kept that to yourself right. and say, you know what, I choose to go another way for professional reasons. Right, right. Agreed. Agreed. I think that's what's bugging me. Because he has a, he has every right to decide who he wants to bring on board. And even for whatever the reasons are. But the way in which he did it, I just it just disappointing, you know. None of these people know what Chris Chrisette Michelle's situation is suppose Chrisette Michelle was on her last freaking dollar. Exactly. This is my point, dude. That other singer, Jennifer Holiday, mm-hmm. she was also invited to sing and she was receiving death threats. I mean, this is crazy. Listen, listen. You cannot have it both ways. You either want a democracy or you want totalitarianism choose what you want because what i saw when i watched the swearing in ceremony was the most powerful man on earth hand over power peacefully to another man 
who was democratically elected. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that, that's what I believe is the promise of the American experiment. And I am not going to mince words when I say that I admire America, the United States of America, for that, for that process, yeah. that process alone. So there are so many problems centering the whole situation with, with President Trump and everything that happened with the election and all that. I get that. But you are seeing now of anti-Trump protesters attacking people. Did you see that video of the the person who is this alt-right um, white supremacist? <laughs> because uh, I saw you saw the video of when he of did the whole... Punch in face. Yeah, of him yeah. getting... You saw that? Yeah, I look, did. Look, why, is he, why even use the word white supremacist there? I saw the video of the dude going hail Trump and all that and everybody there's actually doing the Nazi sign. Uh, dude, I'm not going to I'm not going to men's words about that either. That was just dumb. It is. It's so dumb. Absolutely. You know. He, but he's not a right white supremacist, right? He says he's that's that's not what he is. Uh-huh. And obviously I don't know much about him or what his what he does. I'll it'll require more research if mm-hmm. I'm, if I want to do that. But I hear people say that's why he got punched. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. You do that. You punch him like that. Sucker punch him, actually. And I see so many people celebrating that. And celebrating or, 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 or marching against what they believe is evil and all that. Every time I see stuff like that, the first thing I think is, wait a minute. You condone that. You see that. You celebrate that. You dare to call yourself righteous, more righteous thing. than this person is. And when I see people do these kinds of things, it makes me feel even more of an extraterrestrial inhabiting a human body observing mankind. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel like that. So separated from the way people think on this planet. How could you even call yourself, think yourself to be righteous, to condone that? Look, I, I, I think it. I think it's all good that people are marching. Yeah. Because I think today, more than any other time in my lifetime, yes. the power of the people is apparent. Which and is I great. like that. Which I is love great. that. But when you do things like punch this guy in the face because of his opinion, yeah. That this group of people is treating this group of people differently because of different of opinion, difference in look. Yeah. And you're protesting against that. But when the other side treats this group of people in a different way because of difference of opinion, you're praising it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've convinced yourself that your opinion is right. My, you know, my position to add just to add to that. Words do not hurt sticks and stones do so keep the sticks and stones down keep that away say what you want to say okay yeah that's the thing from the time say you what you sti- want to say from the time you pick up sticks and stones you're in a different y- y- your, your 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 argument is now null and void yes and you have now entered warfare you've entered combat you've entered physical combat you intend to do bodily harm you know and i'm saying that you stay away from that uh, to me Words do not hurt. I have, I, I've, I've look. I've been the subject of so much ridicule, and in everything I've done, and I say to myself, I could retaliate with words, mm-hmm. but I don't even want to do that because look, I can't tell them they can't say what they want to say. They want to ca- talk bad about my films or whatever. That's your right to say what you want to say. I just, I have the right not to listen, and that's what I choose to do, you know. But you see this nonsense, and I hope. It stops very, very soon because it's getting out of hand. You know, people calling for the president to be assassinated. You really want to see someone shot while he's being sworn in? That's what people are hoping for. Where you, where, where you come from? You know what? I think they need a little time in a, in a health spa in North Korea. You look like, whoa, that's kind of dubious because there are no health spas in North Korea. You know what they have there? 
totalitarianism. Mm. Go there and enjoy that if that's what you want. But here you have a chance at building and continuing this experiment, which to me is the most successful experiment on the planet. And I, I make no bones about saying that, you know. And it's a model for every other nation. So, look, just to wrap up the whole thing with Spike Lee, hey, if you don't want to have the girl on because of this, fine. It's just, it just, it's in such poor taste for you to say it like that, you know. And then what you're going to do, you're going to get a couple applause from people who think like you, but then at the end of the day, everyone's going to see, see what, what you're really about. Yeah, is that gonna that, is that, that gonna do for your for your work any longer? I, I do think it's gonna do anything for him because the 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 people in his circles agree with him. They think yeah. like him. Yeah. And there's just this mentality that, you know, because this group of people thinks like me and we've convinced ourselves yeah. that we are right. We we can There's a term for that, dude. It's called living in oblivion. You know, we could bring down anything else with, with whatever negativity, and that negativity is justified. I really hope that I never, ever reach to that point. Ever. Hey, folks. I'm Kern Samuel, one-third of the group Sovereignty. Sovereignty is in the building. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, if you want to check out more of what I do, you could follow me and Sovereignty on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and SoundCloud. Be sure to check out Nick's film series on Vimeo On Demand. Links are in the description. Thanks for stopping by.